Hey guys, it's Judy R12 live with Lena and it's porch season. No, it's winter, but I love decorating my porch for winter seasons as well. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to DIY a porch mat using some paint and your Studio R12 stencils. Guys, thanks for staying tuned. So I'm so excited about doing this porch mat today. I love decorating my porch for all the seasons, including Christmas. So I have this adorable fa la 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 stencil from Studio R12, and it's got these cute little ornaments on it. And I just thought it would be so great on a porch mat, right? So I picked this porch mat up from IKEA. You can pick these up anywhere. Even I think some dollar stores have mats like this, or you can even just get those carpet squares. That would work too. But I do have this like scratchy, you know, good to wipe your feet doormat. I'm so excited about it. Now I was watching um, and learning because I've done I've done a few of these. I actually painted porch mats three or four years ago now for both of my sisters for Christmas a few years ago. I stenciled porch mats for them. So. When I did theirs, I just used scotch tape like this, the painter's tape and tape down really well. Today, I have a couple little tricks I'm gonna show you. Something that works a little better is the scotch tape carpet tape, right? It's a double-sided tape, that's what we're gonna use. Or this is like that tacky stick spray. So you could use this, just take it outside, spray it down and stick it on that way. Or if you have like stencil adhesive, something like that. So you just wanna be sure that your stencil is tacked down really well to your surface. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did this tape. Okay, there's that. And then I'm gonna take a couple small pieces, and stick them over here in these corners. Again, I just wanna be sure that all of my stencil is staying down. Um, oh my goodness, I jumped right into this project because I was too excited. I forgot to tell you guys, welcome to Studio R12 Lives. Um, I'm just too excited about this project, I guess. So if you have been to our lives before, you will remember that here at Studio R12, we love people who love to stencil. We love all people, but we love people who love to stencil. And we love sharing our love of stencils with you guys. One of the ways we do that is through giveaways in these lives. So today I have three brush sets to give away. And then I have a grand prize that I'll show you at the end. So if you stay tuned, you can see the grand prize. And to win these, all you have to do is like, share, and comment on this video. So simple. And you can be entered to win one of our three brush sets that I'm giving away. Those have five brushes in them. There are a whole set of the dome brushes that we sell here at Studio R12. Okay, and they're all five sizes, super awesome. If you've used them before, give them a shout out. I know that I see it every time we talk about the dome brushes, someone in the comments is like, yes, I'm telling you they're amazing. They really are amazing. So be sure you're gonna wanna win this one. Go ahead and like, share, and comment so you can be entered to win our dome brush set. And then I have a pretty cool, um, I'm gonna pull my hair back, pretty cool grand prize for you guys today as well. So if you wanna win that, again, like share and comment on this video. And thanks so much for joining us guys. I just get so excited sometimes about these projects that I just jump right in and forget to tell you about all the great stuff we're doing and forget to even say thank you. So I'm gonna just take a minute and say thank you so much for being the great Studio R12 stencil fans that you are and hanging out with us on Tuesdays at noon. And then some of you at nine on the recast, we're just so grateful for you. So thanks for showing up. That's one of the reasons we love giving things away. So be sure you're liking, sharing, and commenting so you can be entered to win our giveaways. All right, now this is a double-sided tape. So after I placed it kind of everywhere I wanted it, I'm just peeling off the back side which does take a little bit of nail power here. Okay. 
make sure the corners of it are adhered down really well. There we go. Woo! Okay, got it. And then you're just going to flip it over so you can place it. Now, I have thought a lot about where I'm going to place this stencil. I know the center is really great. I also have seen a lot of the white space trend really happening this year, which is that like leaving a lot of room, you know, at top or at bottom. So I'm going to do the white space trend because I'm, I'm a huge fan of the white space trend, to be honest with you. I really, really like it just personally. So I'm going to leave a lot of space there at the top. And I'm bringing these ornaments here, the peaks of these down to where they're hanging off the board just a bit. I might even, I might even miss them. I'm not, whoop, I'm not that sad about it. Make sure you get your tape stuck down really good so that's not happening to you. I'm gonna have to be kind of careful not to bump and bow it just with my big old belly here. Okay. All right. Now we're ready to stencil. So great. Okay, so I also have decided that I'm just gonna paint everything here in black, which I think is great. I do know from experience when you're painting on this type of porch mat, this color, like the way that it is, you have to go dark. You just need to or it doesn't stand out. So you could do color on this, but um, you're gonna wanna do white, will give you good enough contrast as well or like really rich, dark, jewel-toned colors. Um, teal, I've used teal, worked really well. Um, I used a really, that really pretty barn red that we have here. You could go for something really hot. But again, you wanna stay away from like these kind of pastel, dustier colors. They're not gonna show up as well at first and they're gonna fade more noticeably over time because they're just not as rich in tone, right? So again, that's just what I know from experience um, from making these in the past. All right, picking up paint with my dome brush here. And I'm not gonna work it off as much as I would to stencil like a board. I am gonna work it off a little bit. I'm just gonna dust nicely here. And get kind of an initial First layer coat, so cool. All right. So exciting. So do you guys decorate your porch? I know that a lot of people hang up lights and stuff, but do you have like, do you do porch mat for the holidays like this? Or is that like more of a summer and fall thing for you? I know, I just, I just decorated my porch for Christmas last year and it was actually my favorite porch decoration I had done for the whole year. So cool. I had a little Christmas mat and a big Christmas wreath. And then I have these two like galvanized lanterns, but they're like square and open on all the sides. I got them at a, like a, um, it's kind of like a flea market kind of thing, but not really, I don't know how to describe it. If you're from Ohio, or any of the surrounding states, you might be familiar. It's They call it um, Round Barn Market, I think is what it's called. It's up towards Lancaster. So tell us where you're from. First of all, if you're from Ohio and you're familiar with that market, it's where I got my lanterns. <laughs> and I filled them with Christmas ornaments. They really inspired me. They were so cute. They look so nice on my porch. Now I fill them for every season, but I have to say the Christmas ornaments inside of them with some sprigs from my Christmas tree. It's like my favorite. Turned out really cute. Okay, and if you're just hopping on, I wanna remind you, welcome, first of all, to Studio R12 page and welcome to our live. I'm Lena. And I just wanna tell you that we do giveaways during our lives. So today for giveaway, I have brush sets. I have three, and these are super cool. You're gonna get all the sizes that our dome brushes come in, all the way 
from the big to the teeny, teeny, tiny. And these are just such great tools to have on hand if you are an R12 stencil fan. Super great. <clears throat> oh, I should tell you too, the first thing I did with this, I meant to do it on camera and then I did it and then it was done. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, was I shook my mat off really good and like kind of brushed it so I didn't have a bunch of loose fibers from my mat here roaming around. So if you have like a, even like a dog brush, you can just run over it or you can just give it a really good shake and you'd be surprised how much stuff will fly off of these things just from, you know, being in the store and being transported home and all the stuff like that. I'm also curious if you've ever painted one of these before. These are, these porch mats, like the decorated porch mats are becoming so trendy right now. So I'm curious if you have any, if the ones you have are ones you painted, if you kind of didn't realize you could paint them yourself, tell me all you know or all you want to know about painting porch mats. They're so cute. Okay, we're almost done with that first layer here. It's looking pretty good. It's a little fuzzy. But that's our first layer. That's what it should look like. Okay, we're not going to peek too much today because I don't want my tape to lose its adhesive properties. I keep bumping into the stool here beside me. That's what you're hearing. There's a stool down here in case I need to sit down. Okay. So excited. Okay. Who is getting excited for the Christmas season? Is it your favorite time of the year? Or is it your favorite holiday? Tell us all about it. I will say, snow is up there for me in terms of my favorite weather. I love the snow. I just think it's something magical about snow, right? Marshmallows, that's what it reminds me of. That, like marshmallow world, right? Everything's soft. So are you somewhere where it does snow? I, I know I've seen we have some fans who are, um, who live in warmer states. Does it snow where you are? Has it already? <laughs> so cute, okay, I promise I'm done peeking now. Keep forgetting, forgetting myself, I'm excited. All right, now we've given ourselves a good base layer. So we're gonna get some stippling. You get to load your brush little heavier for stippling but you're going to be careful not to overload it because that's still an issue you don't want to seep under get some bleeding okay so cute i'm really excited about this i just need my cup If you haven't picked one of these up yet, if you were liking them, I've seen some comments about them on the lives. They are for sale on our Studio R12 website. So go check them out. And if you need someone who's a, if you need a gift for someone who loves stenciling or loves Studio R12, this would make a great gift this season. And I'm sure you still have time to order. Even if it's, I don't know. Okay. Also, I'm not exasperated. <laughs> I'm just at that point where bending over and trying to talk at the same time. Let me have to breathe really deep. So just bear with me. Promise I'm doing okay. Okay. It's so really warm in here today. So, 
So, what is your favorite Christmas trend? Decorating trend. Let's talk about that. Let's go there. I really enjoy like the golds and the silvers and whites with tiny pops of bright jewel red. That's how I like to decorate, keep it pretty simplistic. My mom has a, just called like a Grinch tree, you know, the kind that like curl over. And she's got all kinds of stuff like that. She's like Whoville Christmas at her house. So much fun. So what do you decorate with? I know that that buffalo check, like the plaid and stuff, I'm gonna just sit on this. <clears throat> We're so, have been so trendy for Christmas decorating. My One of my sisters decorates in that. So what do you decorate with? If you were gonna decorate this porch mat to match your, the rest of your Christmas decorations, what would it look like? And you could definitely buffalo check on this, by the way. Because we have a buffalo check stencil. So you could do it. Super fun process too, actually. Again, I'm still wiping my brush off. I'm not wiping it off as much. Because I'm not swirling, but I'm still wiping. And I am having to press my brush in a little harder, just so you know, because there's, it's almost like room between the stencil and the, the surface here, your porch mat. So that's a lot of times why, if you're like watching videos on how to do this or if you've done it before, why you wanna use like a stencil adhesive on it or you're wanting to use this like double stick tape, something that's gonna lock it in really good and tight because it's gonna help with that room. Now where my tape is is really snug, like right here, but where I didn't put any right here is not as snug. So if you have any of this, I would recommend using probably, I'd probably prefer to use tack spray if I were gonna do this again, but my double stick carpet tape was a good substitute because my stick tack spray is out. So I had to use the carpet, carpet tape and it'll work just fine. It's just that you have to be a little bit more cautious and kind of throw your brush a little bit harder. So just keep that in mind. I didn't want to not do this really cool project for you guys today just because I was out of stencil tack. I should have made sure beforehand, definitely. But if you're, I don't know. I get really excited about doing projects. I even do this at home when I'm like DIYing myself. <laughs> I will just get really excited, really excited and throw myself into a project and then realize I'm out of something I definitely need to finish it. Which then gives me a really good excuse to go buy more craft supplies. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's an accidentally, like subconsciously intentional cycle I'm creating. <laughs> I don't know, do you guys do that? Or are you like really organized and you make sure and you lay everything out and you know what you need and I don't know. Depends on what kind of person you are, I guess. I just get really excited about these projects. You know who needs a little bit more paint? You. I think I skipped him somehow. Yes, this is good, so cute. Okay, so if you are watching and you are commenting, be sure to say hi to Noelle. Um, she's on there with you, answering all your questions as Studio R12. And she also, she's great, she's fabulous. She posts a link to our website 
that has a uh, like a page on it of all of the tools and things I'm using here today with the exception of the porch mat because again I picked this up at Ikea so you're gonna have the stencil all of the giveaway items and everything that we sell here at Studio R12 that I'm using so you won't have you won't have the scotch tape either but it's okay you can pick things like that up at your Walmart any of your local stores usually have double stick carpet tape okay look how cute oh I'm loving it we could call that I'm gonna I'm gonna run over it one more time because I'm enjoying being here with you guys but not all of it just certain places that look like they might need a little bit darkening and we're running out of time guys my project's almost finished so if you're just hopping on or if you haven't yet be sure to comment like and share so you can be entered to win our giveaways i also want to remind you that along with the facebook page if that's where you're watching this we have a youtube channel as well if you're catching us on youtube flip this go and check us out on facebook right um, we also have Instagram, we have Pinterest, we're on all the social medias, except for, I don't think we're on Twitter, but um, we are on, Pinterest and Instagram are two really great, great places to follow us, I think, because we get lots of inspiration on those two channels, like you're going to see lots of photos and things like that of projects, super fun. Okay. I'm getting there, getting there. Try not to rush yourself when you're doing this, but my brush is not super loaded. And I'm just doing some quick taps. I'm not trying to get as much coverage as I am just letting the paint go where it's already, where it needs a little bit of darkening. And if you see here, I am holding as I go along because like I mentioned, since I didn't use any of that stencil adhesive, there are some places where there's kind of some gap between my mat and my stencil. So I'm just kind of holding everything in place using my fingers. And this is acrylic paint, so it's washable. I'm not too worried about getting it on my fingers. I think we're gonna call it. Look how stinking cute. I love it. That's fantastic. Okay. And then this tape right here will come off your stencil. This um, adhesive tape. You just have to work at it. So, just because you use something like this tape on it doesn't mean your stencil is any less reusable. You just have to get a hold of it. And there's actually like no residue behind from this tape. So it's pretty good quality. I'm impressed with it. Um, I know this stencil adhesive, I have used, I haven't used it in a long time, but I've used it before and I have soaked my stencils immediately after use and warm soapy water, just soaked it for a while and it has come off. Again, it's been a while. So if you have any tips on removing stencil adhesive, leave them for your friends in the comments. Everybody loves good tips and tricks, right? Um, and I know that you guys have a lot of knowledge to share out there. So we love hearing from you in the comment section. Speaking of which, Noelle should be announcing the winners of our three brush sets in the comments as I'm speaking here. And I'm gonna go ahead and introduce our giveaway. Our big giveaway is this fabulously like thick, but small packet of alphabet stencils. They look like scroll stencils, so I'm excited. Let's, let's unpackage these. Now, if you've never purchased from Studio R12 stencils before, um, I wanna give you a heads up when you do, if you do, when you do, right? The stencils are gonna come in these nice plastic bag for you so that you know it's gonna stay safe. Yeah, so these are scrolled letters. Those are gorgeous super intricate wow i'm like kind of in love with these oh, look at that pretty l those are so nice the super fine detail on these is just 
gorgeous. And they come with this really cool thing done for you by our designers here at Studio R12. They have an etched hole here that lines up perfectly on each one. So you can just get a binder ring and clip them on here for easy storage. So great. Um, and that way you don't lose one. You know, who wants to lose the cue? Just when you think you don't need it, you need that cue and now he's gone from your stack. So if you have that binder ring, the um, people here at Studio R12 who designed for you also thought of this really great idea for how to help you store, especially small stencils like this. Um, so again, to win that, be sure you like, comment, and share this video. I had such a good time doing this. This is such a cool trend that we're seeing this year, these, these um, porch mats. Super fun to do, that kind of DIY thing, you know, I made my own, it was super cool. Also, my paint, just so you know, it's dry, I'm not coming off on my hands. So, um, so I'm so excited about this project. If you have made one before, or if now you kind of plan to, or you're gonna look out for some stencils to maybe do that, be sure to let us know. Um, tell us all you, what you thought about this project. You can send up thumbs up and hearts so that we know how you feel about this awesome project. Um, Anyway, again, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for joining us. If you're catching us at 9 p.m., you can still enter to win the giveaway, so be sure you comment, like, and share. And we'll see you next week.